We didn't quite get there with the crowdfunding, but it's not the end of the world. We got £1,735, which is about 58% of what we needed, which in itself is a massive achievement, and I'm eternally grateful uh, to all the, the backers who supported the campaign in that respect. But in other ways, um, the campaign was a success because we were able to uh, promote the project via social media massively, and it's really propelled um, the wildlife exposed social media channels. So there'll be a, a link by the, the magic of post production uh, there with Facebook and Twitter. So if you're not already following us or, or giving us a like, do that because they're going to be the two best ways uh, to keep up to date with the project. And that's what's basically happening. We're still going ahead. We would have been a bit more comfortable if the crowdfunding had been fully funded. But the nice thing with Indiegogo is you get whatever money you, you, you raise. So it's not like Kickstarter where it's all or nothing. With Indiegogo, um, we, we get to keep that 1700 odd quid that's going to go towards the project. Now, of course, Affinity, as I already mentioned um, on the Indiegogo page and before, have financially backed us. So we already have a pot um, or a fund, basically, to come kind of pay for the project. So it is happening. We are going to do the pilot at the very least um, and, and kind of do a really strong pilot, which is going to hopefully lead us to a commission for a full series. So it's exciting times. I'm still quite uh, interested to see how it'll all, all go ahead. Um, we've had lots of offers from, from various groups, so everything from very keen local patch photographers who have said, you know what, we've got a great story, we think it'd be good to get you uh, along and film this if the series gets picked up, all the way from you know big big tour companies who are saying, you know, this would work really well. So we're always keen to work with photographers, and of course, if this series does get picked up for a full season, um, you know, it could roll on, roll on, roll on, not just the UK but abroad. Um, we're going to need a lot of photographers to feature in it because other than me just rambling on all the time, um, we have contributors and, and other photographers featuring. So um, we're always keen to work with photographers and, and find these interesting stories, everything from you know smartphoning uh, flowers and stuff all the way up to the big long lens full frame cameras. Um, you know, it's called wildlife exposed, but any kind of natural history subject, landscapes, macro, underwater, you know. So it's going to be a very varied series. And the way I would describe it, if you're watching this and thinking, oh, it's just going to be, you know, technical talk all the time. It's a travel show of a camera um, where we are going to do photography tips and hints. But really, it's kind of following a journey, looking at the wildlife, looking how photography can benefit wildlife, certainly in a conservation point of view as well. Of course, one of the other nice things with the campaign was that we got uh, lots of attention from other groups. So, for example, Countryfile magazine, uh, The Countryman magazine, Diver magazine, Left Lion, Knots TV, Nature TTL, uh, an underwater photographer magazine, all did pieces on uh, the upcoming pilot. So, thank you to all of those for, for doing that. And it just means that we're spread out a little bit more, so more people are hearing about us. Um, I'd also like to thank, of course, all the sponsors and, and, and backers, uh, namely Affinity for obviously uh, being the main sponsor and the main funding for it. Um, everyone who backed uh, the Indiegogo campaign will be getting a free copy of Affinity. Um, if you're watching this and you're thinking about getting Affinity, it is pucker um, photo editing software. It's really, really good. I've been using it for a while now, really pleased with the results, and you don't pay any subscriptions. It's a one-off fee. Uh, very professional photo service. Photo Speed, of course, I've been working with the guys at Photo Speed for, for a year or so now. Um, top quality prints, really pleased with those. Um, and of course, the guys who back, some of them will be getting prints, some of them will get discounts and prints, things like that. Uh, we at Fish and Optocron, they gave up their time uh, to, to kind of tweet and help promote the project. And also, they gave discounted things on their rewards. So, thank you to both of those. And of course, Shetland Nature and Bryden Thomason, who is going to be hosting uh, Wildlife Exposed when we're up there, hopefully mid-July, early August, we haven't quite got the date yet. Um, looking really forward to it. It's going to be great. So three weeks, I'm looking to film up there, um, getting lots of exciting pictures uh, and exciting subjects and trying to show you guys how to get those exciting pictures and exciting subjects. As I say, we haven't been commissioned yet. Obviously, we haven't made anything yet, but if you're a production company and you're kind of watching this and seeing how we go, feel free to, to get in touch. Um, 
we are hoping that this is going to turn into something really special and different. As I say, there's no wildlife photography television shows out there, and it's it's baffling why not, because it is such a popular subject. Uh, thousands upon thousands of people uh, enjoy wildlife photography, if not more. Um, so hopefully kind of putting this out to the masses is also going to bring in that kind of core wildlife photography audience, but also appeal to a more general audience who just think, you know what, this looks a little bit different. I'm going to give this a watch. So from now on, basically, it's all planning for Shetland. Um, we're going to kind of keep posting things every now and again on, on, on the Facebook pages. When we're up in Shetland, that's going to be the main kind of... Uh, everything that is going to kick off, basically. Uh, we're hoping to do live broadcasts uh, via Facebook Live and Periscope and things like that. So... Um, it, I mean, you can imagine how it would be if we had live orcas or live otters or things like that. So that would be great to do. We'll hopefully do some live Q&A depending on the phone signal and things like that up there as well. Um, it's going to be exciting. We've got lots of things planned uh, with lots of people. It's going to be a great uh, project. So hopefully we can get wildlife exposed up and running 